Okay, welcome. We're going to start another section, another exercise on Jasper Active PowerPoint. Uh, this video is going to include lesson three, exercise number four, formatting text. I'm going to click it and get it started. All right, resize the window so you can see what we're doing. Step number one in the slide navigation pane, select slide two. Done. Select the text in the title placeholder and then on the home tab in the font group, you're going to select the arrow for font and change it to Arial Black. With the title text still selected on the home tab in the font group, you're going to change the font color to blue. So home tab, font group, font color, standard color, blue. Next, click inside the content placeholder and click the border of the content placeholder. So first here and then the border. So we have the content placeholder selected. Now we are going to change the font color to blue. Notice this time the font color is remembered my last selection. So I'm just going to click the button and it all changes to blue. Step number six says with the content placeholder still selected on the home tab in the font group, you're going to click the font arrow and change the font to Arial. Now it's blue Arial. Next, with the content placeholder still selected in the home tab in the font group, you're going to select italicize. So notice right here, I'm hovering over the italicize button. Click it and we are italicized. Step number two, select the content placeholder on slide two if necessary. Then on the home tab in the clipboard group, you're going to click the paintbrush here, which is called Format Painter. Then in the slide navigation pane, select slide three, and you're going to click the content placeholder for the San Francisco to Vermont list. And notice all the changes we made with the formatting, we just use the Format Painter to update to blue italicized Arial font. Now, with that selected, so select the content placeholder again. Now we need to double click the Format Painter button. And notice we can go to slide four. And when we click on the uh, content placeholder, it updates that. But this time, because we double clicked Format Painter, it's stuck on. So if I go to any other slide now, I can continue to apply that formatting. Now we're out of slides, so I'm gonna just turn the Format Painter off by single clicking it. Notice now I'm back to normal or as normal as I can get to be. All right. Here we go. Step number three, highlight text. Click anywhere inside the content placeholder on slide four, but do not select any text. So anywhere inside there, but don't select any text. Now, what we want to do is select the text. Oh, excuse me. On the home tab in the font group, we're going to turn on the highlight color. So turn on. Now notice the highlighter is active, but we didn't have anything selected, so nothing was actually highlighted. Now they want you to select New York. And notice as soon as you do that, it's highlighted. Now select the word movies. And that's highlighted. 
Then on the Home tab in the font group, click the text highlight color arrow and we're going to turn the highlighting off. So say no color. Now, if we were to click and highlight, or excuse me, uh, select any text, nothing is highlighted. To remove highlighting, on slide four, select the text for movies. And then go up and notice the highlighter button has remembered our last choice, which was no color. You can either click the button or just come down and select no color. Notice the text is no longer highlighted. Step number five says on slide four, still selected on slide four, it says select the text for New York. And then on the home tab in the font group, notice the button that has a letter A with a little eraser that has a pink tip. It's called clear all formatting. Click it. Notice it removed the font style of Arial, it removed the font color, and it removed the highlighting. We want to put that back, so we're going to click undo on the quick access toolbar up at the top of the PowerPoint window. Now we're going to apply a quick style. So select slide one in the navigation pane. Click anywhere inside the title placeholder. And then on the home tab, in the drawing group, you're gonna select quick styles and you're gonna do colored fill blue accent five. So is that, no, that is a blue one, but that's accent one. So colored fill blue accent five should be that one, but double check and make sure. Intense effect, moderate, light outline, colored fill. That's what we want. So the quick style is quickly applied. Now click in the subtitle placeholder. And on this one, you're gonna do colored fill blue accent one. So home tab drawing group, quick styles, color fill blue accent one. Notice they are two different blues. And step seven, it says in the slide navigation pane, select slide three. With slide three selected, select the content placeholder, click inside it and then get the edge, and then come up and click that clear all formatting button. And notice that does not have the formatting we pasted in there earlier. Now with the content placeholder still selected on the home tab in the drawing group, you're gonna select quick styles and choose intense effect blue accent five. So we know that there's two blues, but this is the accent five. Let's look for intense effect. I think it was down towards the bottom. I think that right there is it. It's not giving me the pop-up, but it was this one or it's this one. There we go, intense effect, blue accent five. That should be the last of the seven steps. So let's submit it and see what we get. Woohoo! Look at that. Another 100% for the good guys. Return to Jasper Active, and that is how we format text.